The solar plant planning uh, using augmented reality is a joint project between the Zurich University and the Zülke company uh, located also in Switzerland. The presented workflow on the rooftop is based on the equipment of the HoloLens, which the planner is wearing on his head. He points with the finger on a reference point, an object here, where you see here this green ball, which is displayed on the HoloLens. And this see-through display together with this HoloLens uh, display combined with the marking of the objects is the method of measuring different points. The planner is walking around and the three-dimensional um, system and mapping of the whole roof is done. At the end, from the menu, different model types, different mounting options are chosen with different type of shading losses as well. Finally, the customer gets the offer right on the rooftop or, or in front of the building just in a few minutes after the measurement was done. Four tasks have to be carried out. Starting with the configuration of the measurement equipment on the head of the planner, with the selecting of number of floors, followed by the definition of the south direction of the building. Second, the real measurement is done, and that means the corners of the roof, the Railing in a three-dimensional room is measured and defined. Together with individual measured up obstacles, which leads to shading. And you see here the green line displayed on the HoloLens screen shows us where we can place our modules. Or which area is not allowed to play the models here. Third, the layout have to be done by choosing the orientation, by finding the type of mounting structure, east, west, south, and also choose the amount of losses which you will allow. Then the PV modules are displayed on the roof and the optimum planning is chosen. Finally, the export to a, as a PDF document uh, where you find the number of modules, the inverters, but also prices as you uh, are family to see it in an offer is handed over to the customer just a few uh, minutes after the planning is done on the roof. We are just going up to the roof there to make the planning process for a larger PV installation. Starting with evaluating the area, the whole area, and at the end taking care about the shading, about the shading objects as well. The planner is choosing the number of floors by pointing to the screen of the building. Seven. Next. Uh, we have to define the south direction of the building, which was taken over by the prior measured uh, direction with the smartphone, as you see it here. With the left hand, 
uh, we are ordering the menu from the HoloLens and choosing measurement. Then we are searching for the edge of this roof, going to the next corner and when the green ball is at the point, we mark it. And then here you see it's not always clear in centimeter where the reference point is. And you see here 1.53 meter. The measurement is done immediately after marking on the HoloLens these what you see through the screen here as the planner is doing here. The final corner is finished and then we have defined the whole area. The next step is measuring the railing of that roof. Um, and uh, we start to find the green ball. We mark the green ball on the railing here in the corner. Next corner, as we saw it before. And um, we have to find every um, point on the railing in the edge and here you see the pink railing of the whole outer uh, board of this roof. Done. Within task two we are now measuring the obstacles which leads to shading. We always have to find the top plane and typically we have four corners on that red top plane here which causes shading and we see the green borderline here which is the edge where the PV modules could be placed and um, here finally the fourth obstacle was measured and finished here. Uh, we have to take into account that reality on a roof is not fitting always well with the architect's maps and plan. Therefore, before installing a PV plant on the roof, the real measurement is a must. And now we reached uh, task three, uh, where we are searching for the final layout of the PV modules. Therefore, we have to choose the uh, type of PV modules, we have to choose which mounting structure we will use, and uh, what we see here uh, on the screen of the HoloLens is the percentage of allowed shading glasses due to these railing, for example, here and the other obstacles here. So we will see uh, in a few seconds that if when we are able when we are able to change these numbers here from 5 7.5 up to 15 uh, the automatically uh, the system will uh, give us his the, the choice for positioning the layout of the PV modules um, so now we see we are choosing 10, 7.5 and you see if we are changing that number with 2 for example or 5 or 7.5, 10, uh, automatically the number of PV module is changed. So uh, we see that just on the rooftop what we want to design, what we want to plan and we don't have to go back in the office uh, on the computer to choose that. The Second task here in uh, task three layout is the final orientation of the PV modules south or east. It's only a click on the HoloLens menu. Another choice of mounting structure is the east-west mounting situation here. And um, as we see here, uh, the east-west configuration is used and if we take a closer look um, we see the green borderline here of the obstacle and you see on that side we have no PV modules seen. Um, if we take the 10 degrees south orientation with another type of module you can choose between the different options right on the roof 
what do you think would fit best to that PV plant? Now uh, the layout is done and we want to export all the data. So we see here that is a 14 kilowatt PV installation, the planning, the orientation, we see the percentage of losses and also we see it's not good seen here, but we see the annual output in kilowatt hours. But to export it, uh, we choose that button and we have transferred it, for example, to the computer or to another mobile device to show it uh, to the customer, for example, as a PDF uh, document which is uh, used for other software tools as well. So this result is uh, seen here as the layout of the panels. And in that offer, we find the Swiss francs here for the installation effort. We find it for the administrative effort. We find the inverter costs, the PV module costs. So that is done actually within a second on the rooftop. Of course, this can be done for larger roofs, larger PV plants, and also other type of roofs as well.